So I said how uh, with CRISPR we can uh, modify uh, the specificity of a T cell and make it able to recognize cancer cells. But one of the major issues, of the major questions that we have is what antigen should we target and what gene should be used to target this antigen. So we focus on WT1 because it's a strong antigen. It's important for AML blast to survive. Uh, it's uh, widely expressed by many, many tumors and uh, um, it's immunogenic. So we, we focus on that, uh, on that antigen and started screening healthy donors for the presence of WT1 specific T cells. So we did, we did so by using overlapping peptides um, used uh, to present the antigen to, uh, to T cells. And we were quite surprised to see that by an optimized pipeline, we could really identify T cells specific for WT1 in the majority of donors that we test. So by this approach, we could validate new TCRs and identify the peptides that were recognized, focus on those peptides that proved to be naturally processed by AML cells. And then through a funnel uh, approach, we um, deprioritize every TCR and every peptide to end up with the best. A TCR which recognizes an HLA2 restricted uh, peptide, so widely presented by the, uh, the population, at least the Caucasian population, uh, naturally processed, uh, and a TCR with such an avidity that it can function also when it is expressed by CD4 T cells. So we really believe we have a strong tool and we are uh, uh, looking forward to clinical results.